Chris Chavez here with Fandra.com taking a look at the Spigen Ultra Fit case for the Nexus 5. Nexus 5 came out or was shipped to me, received it last Monday, and uh, I actually got this case before the, the, the Nexus 5 ever got to my house, and uh, I've been meaning to kind of show it off and show you guys what it all is about. <laughs> So this is the ultra fit case for the Nexus 5 and it comes in a variety of uh, colors and finishes. There's a clear model, a champagne gold version, a white version, but the black one is the only one that comes with, uh, they call it a smooth black here on the label, but it comes with their soft touch finish or quote unquote SF, which uh, stands for soft finish. And it's got that soft touch finish that pretty much mimics identically what is found on the Nexus 5. Uh, there is very little dis difference here, and it just, oh man, it feels so good. It's like some kind of skin, like lamb skin or something. And uh, that's kind of why I opted for this version, because I wanted something that would closely mirror you know, the soft touch finish on my Nexus 5. And uh, it seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, in the box, you'll get a clear screen protector, which I do recommend putting on your phone as soon as you get it because uh, you won't be able to see it on camera, but I have a huge, long, very faint scratch going from the top of my device to the bottom. Let's just go ahead and put it on here. Uh, I like to go with the volume buttons first and then uh, just kind of gently slip it on over past that power button and then boom, just snaps right into place. And uh, you can see here, it is raised a little bit along the top. So you can lay it flat if you have an extremely flat surface to do it on, but that rim is pretty, pretty small or uh, not very tall. So uh, you might want to be careful unless you get some little granules of rocks or something or salt and it scratches up your display like mine. Um, other than that, the tops and bottoms are left exposed for the ports there. Pretty much standard with these very slim, thin, hard cases. They always leave these top areas, but uh, it does protect, you know, the bottom area here. So it's not completely exposed. It's mainly just this top rim and the bottom rim there that are kind of uh, left vulnerable. Other than that, it doesn't provide too much bulk. You can see even on, along the camera here. Uh, it's just enough bulk to kind of keep that camera from getting scratched if you lay it down. It is extremely, extremely, uh, pretty much like the minimum that you can go if you want to keep that protected as well. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, other than that, it seems like a pretty nice case. My only really problem or concern is when you hold it in your hand, uh, there are these extremely sharp edges along the bottom here. See if you can pick that up. See this little area? Uh, they seem to have diamond cut that or something to the point of where it's so sharp that when I hold my phone, I always put my little pinky out like this because I'm proper. <laughs> and this, oh my gosh, it's so sharp and it's very kind of uncomfortable to use like that. But I mean, that might not even be a concern for you if you hold your phone probably like a normal person. But for me, it's just, it's bothersome and, and uh, we'll probably have to take a nail file to that a little bit later. Uh, other than that, I think the case is pretty darn awesome. It's only $10. so. A whole lot less expensive than you know those $30 TPU cases, official cases that are in the Google Play Store, or like that $50 flip case. Uh, this will should just get the job done, uh, and the Spigen logo there on the side as well. So only 10 bucks, you get a free screen protector. Uh, it comes in a very simple box, and you can be protecting your Nexus 5 like you should be. Uh, protect that investment. So with that. I'm Chris Travels of Fandra.com. I'll have links to uh, the Amazon page for where you can get one or pick one up if you'd like, uh, as well as a bunch of, a few more photos and stuff on Fandra.com. So with that, I'll see you next time, guys.